Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to open an account with Webull. Through Webull, you can open an IRA or a brokerage account, and you can trade stocks, bonds, options, and cryptocurrency. If you want, you can start off by clicking the referral code in the comment section down below that will give you a free stock when you open up an account with Webull. So once you register your username with Webull, either by clicking the link below or opening up the app itself and registering either your email or your phone number, punch in the verification code. And at the bottom of the app, there's a blue button called open an account. Once you click that, it's going to show that you're about 5% completed. Go ahead, hit continue. First off, you're gonna to need to take a picture of a license or some form of ID. And once you've taken the pictures of your license, then it's gonna ask for some personal information, first, last name, address, social security number. And once you've made sure you filled out all that information correctly, go ahead, hit continue, and it's gonna ask for some job information. Just generally put in what type of work you're doing and what your position is with your employer. And once you continue, it's gonna bring you to the application page where they're gonna ask you some basic questions. The next page is gonna ask you these three financial questions, and we will put it best. If you don't know what any of this means, then it probably doesn't apply to you. For 99.9% .9 of the people, the answer is gonna be no for all three of these. So leave it how it is, press continue. On the next page, it's gonna verify your name and social security number, just hit I agree. On the next page, it's gonna ask you for account type, do you want a margin account or a cash account? Trading on margin basically means you're borrowing money to trade and you're gonna owe them interest for the amount of time that you borrowed money. So if you only deposit $1,000 into your Webull account, they may let you trade on margin $10,000. But $9,000 of that $10,000 belongs to Webull. You're borrowing that money to trade stocks, bonds, cryptocurrency, whatever, on margin. And because you're borrowing that money to trade, anytime you borrow money from a bank, from somebody, from a car dealership, from Webull, you're going to owe them that money back plus interest. And when we're talking about trading stocks and cryptocurrency, it is very risky, very volatile market. We do not want to trade on borrowed money. Notice how they put you automatically on margin account because they want you to borrow money so you pay them interest. Switch it to cash account. I recommend you leave the stocks and the ETFs highlighted. And if you want to trade cryptocurrency, go ahead and highlight the cryptocurrency button. Webull does have some popular cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin, and they're looking to add more every single month. The next page is going to be the agreements and disclosures, basically all the terms and conditions that you're signing for. You're going to have to go ahead and digitally sign your name. And last thing for the application to go through is it's going to ask you to verify your email address. So plug in your email address and right away within the first three minutes, it should send you an email with the verification code. Plug that in hit next and your application should be submitted for approval. Now after submitting the application, I got an email within minutes saying that my account has been approved and I now officially have a brokerage account with Webull. The next step would be to put money into your actual Webull account and this is how to do it. Open up the Webull app and under your account, you're gonna click the button that's called make your first deposit. The ACH transfer, the first option there is super easy, so I suggest you do that if you have a US bank account. And once you click that, it's gonna ask you to log into whatever bank account or financial institution you're gonna use. So once you log into either your Chase Bank, your Wells Fargo, whatever bank you have, it's gonna show you your different checking or savings accounts that you have within that bank. Select whichever one you wanna transfer money from. And then once you selected that, it'll bring you to this screen here where you can plug in the amount that you wanna initially deposit into your Webull account from whatever bank account that you just linked. So if you do this on a weekend or a non-business day, it's not gonna process until the next business day. And if you do do it on a business day, Monday through Friday, it may take one day before your funds start getting transferred to your Webull account. Last thing it's gonna prompt you to do is to set a trading password and some security for your account. So you can go ahead and pick a six digit number, then it's gonna ask you to confirm your date of birth and pick three security questions. And there you go, you have a Webull account and your money is gonna either be deposited today or within the next following days. You can always see your total account value to see when that money gets transferred in. And if you did use the referral link down below to open a Webull account, you can go ahead and once the money stays deposited within your Webull account, you can claim your free stock. Thanks for watching guys. I put out new financial videos every single week. So go ahead and subscribe if you are not subscribed already so you don't miss a video. And if you got anything out of this video at all, please go ahead and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.